Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, it's Father's Day, which I know that this is gonna go out late because I'm behind on editing, but starting a two day today. I didn't vlog at home. Um, it is an AM, but it's not too early. I have to be here at 8.40, it's eight o'clock right now. So I'm in the Great Hall at DIA, and I'm gonna go through security, and I might go up to the lounge or find some more coffee. We'll see what happens. So I do three flights today and I end up in, where do I end up? Nashville for a really short overnight. But then I just do two home and I'm home at like 1.30 tomorrow. And yeah, so I'll explain why I'm on a two day in a little bit. Like I'm the fourth flight attendant on the 800 and we help up front with pre-boards and kind of work our way back and help customers with bags and yeah so I won't be overnighting with my crew the D kind of a lot of times on your own and they move you around to fill the fourth position for this larger aircraft so we're on the plane we are headed to Cleveland then to Chicago, and then I'm gonna sit in Chicago, and then I'm gonna deadhead to Nashville, which is where I have my short overnight. So, let's do this thing. Deadheading. I'm on the plane. That means I sit in a seat like a passenger and I'm headed to Nashville for my short overnight. And yeah, ate in Chicago, got some popcorn in Chicago, and now I'm headed to Nashville. All right, made it to the hotel room and just knocked over my bag crushing my popcorn from Nuts on Clark, but I got to the hotel room, made sure there's no creepers. I'm gonna put some more comfortable clothing on and come back and tell you about the day. All right, so I ate my dinner. I had some delicious Kroger grocery store sushi. Not kidding. It's one of my staples for my food bag. And I was gonna watch that movie, View from the Top with Gwyneth Paltrow and Christina Applegate. It's hilarious. It's a hilarious flight attendant movie, but I think you have to have the Cinemax app from what I found and I don't have that. So it is 8.30 here in Nashville and I have to be downstairs at 6 a.m. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish the movie I started. I am getting sleepy. So <clears throat> this is a two day trip. Um, I get home tomorrow, Monday at about 1.30 and then Tuesday I have a turn from Denver to Oakland and back. So a turn is when you're just out for the day. So Denver, in this case, it's just Denver to Oakland and Oakland to Denver and done. So I report at like 5.30 p.m. and I think we land back in Denver just a little bit after midnight and I traded my three-day trip for this two-day and a turn just to be able to move everything down on my schedule. My husband wanted to go out of town, and so 
We went to California, met up with a friend, was able to score a ticket to Disneyland. I love Disney. I'm kind of a Disney fanatic. And we were able to go to Disneyland. We did actually a park hopper. So California Adventure and Disneyland. And it was so much fun. It was so awesome. But had to pay the piper and work Father's Day and work... Yeah, so this two day in a turn, and then I have one day off, and then I go back to work again. So it's gonna be a little bit brutal. Was in Chicago, so I got some caramel corn, and I'm just hanging out. And I have a funny story for you, and I can't remember what it is. I will tell you the funny story about the drug test at the end of the vlog, so stay tuned for that. I don't know what I was gonna tell you. I don't know, so. I'm gonna be getting ready for bed soon, taking my makeup off. Not sure if I, again, <clears throat> if I'm gonna finish the movie I'm watching. But yeah, oh, I, I was gonna remember, I was gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm D, so a lot of times when you're D, you're kind of on your own. So I had to find my way <clears throat> from the airplane to the hotel pickup and get picked up and brought to, air, to the hotel. And you're like, why is that such a big deal? Well, because often when we get off as a crew, we're with our pilots, there's like five or six of us, and I kind of just follow the people who have been here before, so they know where to go, they know where pickup is. But if, but today I had to make sure, I called the hotel, told them I was here, had to read all the directions on where I had to go get picked up, so I had to figure it out on my own. A lot of people don't like to fly D because they have to, in essence, figure out where they're going. So, I made it to the hotel. But I was on the shuttle with a United crew and was chatting with them. But yes, I'm going to get ready for bed. And I probably won't see you till tomorrow. So again, stay tuned to the end of the vlog. And I will tell you the funny, hilarious drug test story from two vlogs ago. So stay tuned. Good Monday morning. So it is 5.38. I have to be down in the lobby in about 20 minutes. Um, cooking my breakfast with my iron. That's a breakfast burrito wrapped in foil being cooked with the hotel iron. So got my face on. I need to do something with my hair, pack up and put my uniform on and we'll be headed out for day two. You're gone now. Will you come So I'm home. Well, I'm at Wendy's. <laughs> Hannah, my husband picked me up in my car and then we went to the shop and picked up his car. And now we're on our way home and I want a nap. I want crinkly soup. Hannah wants crinkly soup, also known as ramen. Quality, quality, quality. And she wants to play with Zachariah, our neighbor. I just want a nap. So I promise I'm going to get to the hilarious story. And as a bonus, an extra special bonus, I have a turn tomorrow night that I'm going to add to this video because it just makes more sense. What hilarious story? What hilarious story? My hilarious story is... <laughs> I'll have to tell you. <laughs> tell me right now! Tell you right now. That's what the people are saying. So here it comes. So... I was joking that I hadn't been tested in like seven years, so I jinxed myself. And normally what happens is when we return back to base, that's when we get randomed. You don't get randomed out on the road. So <clears throat> normally when we see, if you're A and you look out the window and see that there's a person with a clipboard, you call back to the folks in the back and say, hey, don't go to the bathroom. Um, there's a clipboard, I'll let you know who it's for. So when the door opens, you ask, you know, so who are you looking for? And then if it's for the flight attendant in the back, 
or the captain or the first officer. You just let whoever it is know that they have a random drug test. So that person can not go to the bathroom or start chugging water. <laughs> so it was a stormy night. It was a stormy night. It was a stormy night in Denver. So they didn't make it to our jet bridge right as the door opened. So we unloaded the whole plane and we got all our bags down and I was walking from the back and yes, I had gone to the bathroom and then they showed up. So I grabbed um, a can of water on my way off the plane, chugged that on my way to the drug testing room <clears throat> and we had to wait for a little while because someone else was in there with another person being randomed. So we go in, it's, ba it's basically a little room and then there's a bathroom attached to it. So we go in there and I fill out some paperwork and I go into the bathroom, sit down, got my little container. Uh, I really, I only had to give them 30 milliliters. I think I Googled it and it's only three ounces or an ounce and a half of pee. It's not very much. So I go in there and I just, I can't go to the bathroom. And this is from a person who goes to the bathroom all the time. One of my favorite things about being a flight attendant is the fact that we can go to the bathroom whenever we want. I just can't go. And she's like, do you want to come out? You want to drink some more? Um, and, but the problem is, is if you leave, this is such a silly rule. If I step out of the restroom into the little room attached to it, she has to throw away all the urine that I already had peed, which wasn't very much. She has to throw it away. So I was like, no, I'm just sitting there. So eventually, <laughs> She runs some water in the next room, and then she she's like, don't tell anyone, she was super kind. She handed me through the door another can of water to drink, which I thought was funny that that was a rule that she couldn't do it because literally she's the one passing me the water. It's not like it had, you know, yeah, I just thought it was funny. So it's been 30 minutes, you guys. I've been sitting on this potty for 30 minutes. So she hands me the water, I chug it, she starts playing some music, and that can of water just did the trick and allowed me to go enough for her. So I get up, I bring my pee out, and she fills the two test vials, and we fill out the paperwork, and immediately upon exiting that little potty room, and now I have to go to the bathroom, and I was joking with her, I was like, now I have to pee. She's like, do you wanna go back in there and pee? And I was like, no. So I left. I rode the train and there are bathrooms. Oh, Hannah wants me to let you know that I ordered her mermaid tail today yeah, on Amazon. It's the one you said in the pool. Mm -hmm. I'll put a picture of it. I'll show you what I bought her. So I go to the main terminal. I'm about to go out to go down to the employee bus and there's bathrooms right there before you go to security. And I go to the bathroom and I go down to the train we get on the bus and it takes us 22 minutes from the terminal to the employee parking lot because DIA has been doing lots of construction. And so um, I have to go to the bathroom so bad again. Again, I was sitting in that stupid little room on that stupid little drug testing potty and could not go to the bathroom. And I have to pee so bad. And I'm headed to the employee parking lot. There's no bathrooms in the employee parking lot. There is, however, well, there was an outhouse. And so they have like a porta potty for the drivers. And so I'm just crossing my fingers that it's still there because we had to sit in traffic because of the construction on Pena Boulevard that comes into the airport. So praise the Lord, it was still there. Not that I really wanted to use a porta potty, but I didn't think that the cell phone lot building would be open and I'd be able to go to the bathroom there. So <laughs> I was just so frazzled at the end of that video. I just looked so frazzled because I had to go to the bathroom. I didn't have to go to the bathroom. And then I had to go to the bathroom so bad that I almost wet my pants on the employee bus back. And I was just so thankful that there was a porta potty there. What are you ever thankful that there's a porta potty? Not very often. So I just, and then I had to go again when I got home, which is only 20 minutes away. So apparently I have a shy bladder. I never thought of it that way, but <laughs> that's my story. I'm gonna go get ready. We're gonna go to the airport for a turn. So I'm walking to the bus. Sometimes they hang out at the first stop. Sometimes they drop off and then just continue around the parking lot to wake it, wake, 
wait at the last stop. So I'm walking to the last stop to get on the bus. Oh, got a good parking spot. YouTube content, but no, this is just my life. So that means we're going to start boarding, but I forgot my badge at home, which means I needed to call headquarters and I sent them a picture of my passport. They sent me a temporary ID, which means I had to go through normal security. Crew members, we have our own security line. It's called known crew member. And luckily, this is not the beginning of a three day. I didn't have any liquids because I would have had to surrender them because I didn't have a badge. Just going to Oakland, just coming back. That's all the drama. So we're gonna board, all my safety checks are done and we'll be on our way. All right, so we're in Oakland. We had to switch planes. Um, we're headed back to Denver, easy cheesy. We did have some, <laughs> so. We had, we boarded everyone up and then we were waiting for last minute bags from some transfer people. And I had a deadheading captain on the plane and he comes to the back and he's like, um, this guy just vaped right in front of me and blew the smoke up into the air. And so I told him he can't do that. And I, he's like, you're going to probably want to keep an eye on him. And I was like, oh boy, I don't, I don't do drama. So when I was going back up to do my safety demo, there was a soda on the ground, like someone had dropped their bottle and I leaned over and I did see the vape pen in his lap. And I was very kind and I said, you can't smoke that on the plane. And he said, yeah, he told me. And he pointed to the captain. So I really do think it was ignorance. So we warned him, didn't have any other issues. So that's all we had to do was just make sure he understood that he can't vape on the plane. You'd think that people would know, but people don't know. So I'm, um, eating snacks. If you guys have ever tried brownie brittle, it's so delicious. If you never tried it, don't do it because then you're going to want to eat it all the time. So, head it back to Denver. So, let's talk about tonight. I left you all happy and cheery working my one while well, working from Denver to Oakland with the kid who was caught vaping. That all went fine. We had to do an aircraft sw swap in Oakland, unscheduled. We get on the plane, we board up, and it's not till we're done boarding that the captain makes an announcement that um, maintenance had been on board to fix something wrong with his seat and it was already done we we're just waiting for them to finish the paperwork fast forward an hour an hour an hour i don't know what happened i don't know why it took an hour it took an hour <laughs> in that hour i got yelled at and by a guy who's like, you can't keep us on this plane for two hours without being fined. Why did you even board the plane? Like, I didn't make the decision to board. Um, typically, when we have a maintenance situation where the thing is fixed and all they're doing is waiting on paperwork, we board because we don't anticipate it taking an hour. I don't know why. So he was all mad at me. And technically, we couldn't be fined for holding him on the plane because we're still at the gate with the door open. And he has every right to get off. And I also had a lady in the back lavatory having a panic attack. So I called up and the captain made an announcement and said, if you wanted to get off, you could get off. I calmed the lady down with the panic attack. And we're an hour late. So... A little bit rough. I need to eat a couple Pringles. I'm hungry. I'm watering my lawn because, again, I got fertilized today. It needs watering. 
I'm tired. Oh, well, but that's it. <laughs> that's the end of my three days of working. I'm so behind on videos. I apologize. And I will see you guys in the sky.